that's the installation. I can do it in three and a half minutes. Yeah, a lot can be done in three and a half minutes. I'm here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show 2025, and these are Powerboat TV's top five cool gadgets that we have found here, starting with Psyonix and the Nightwave. Britt Wannick, how are you, buddy? Steve, doing well. So, this to me is like entry-level Batman stuff. You can <laughs> see in the dark. Uh, tell me about what the, the Nightwave is. Sure, so Nightwave camera actually started from a simple idea. People were using what was called the Aurora Pro, which was our handheld monocular for night vision on boats. Uh, but it's kind of hard to see when you're moving around like that. So we said, well, can we make a fixed unit that can then be displayed back onto the multifunction display, essentially your chart plotter. And hence, Nightwave was born a few years ago. We have two different versions of it. Uh, one is an analog-based version, so it's an analog input into the MFD. And then there's another one that is a digital connection, which is a standard IP cable to connect into the MFD. Gives you a little higher resolution, allows you to connect with more than one MFD at a time. So you can have one at the helm station up top, one in the pilot house, whatever you might need, essentially. Uh, the camera itself uses the same sensor, and it's got a fancy name called the XQE 1350. Told you uh, it was like Batman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but essentially, it's sensitive to very, very low levels of light. Uh, so Psionix stands for silicon onyx, or black silicon. So it absorbs that light, and then we produce an image from that that we display back on the multifunction display. Cool. And, and what are we looking at? Uh, what's MSRP for these uh, futuristic camera deals? Uh, so the, the digital camera runs for $28.95, and the analog camera runs for $18.95. And for installation, is it something that we can DIY, or do you need to work with the partner? You certainly can DIY it if you would like to, or you can work with a partner. We have many installers throughout the country, essentially. Uh, they're relatively simple. You have one cable that is both the connection and the power. Depending upon the type that you have, you may also need to install what's called a power over ethernet box for the digital version. So that's a little more complicated. If you have a network on your boat already, it should be a relatively simple plug and play, but you may need to involve an installer. But we have many that do DIY and many that go to their installers as well. Fantastic. And to find out more about Sonics and Nightwave, we go to www.sonics.com or visit us here at Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Thanks, buddy. Number two coolest gadget that we found here at Flibs is iHoy. Like Ahoy, but with the I. And we're not gonna say what kind of phones or pads that's like, but very cool. Essentially, this will allow you to put autopilot on any boat that doesn't have it. And it works because of this, right? Ergo, explain right. it to me. Yeah, okay. So basically what you have on your boat is a steering wheel. Yes. What we're saying, what we're doing is, just take our steering wheel, put Ahoy box, just like a steering wheel, the standard here, right. and then put your steering wheel back on. Oops. So we don't do anything okay. below it, this is just where no the wheel cutting, was? No no drilling, nothing. Okay. Just, uh, you, we need a 12 volts, just uh, stock it. Okay. That, that's all. That's the installation. I can do it in three and a half minutes. So we're talking about the autopilot installation in minutes. Yeah, a lot can be done in three and a half minutes. That is the important part. Then we simply download an app. Okay. It's a Google Play App Store both available. And this is connected to the Aero Box via Bluetooth. So wherever you're in the boat, you can access the Aero Box. So once you access three important functionality. One is remote steering. Like this, anywhere on the boat, you can steer your boat. Even that's possible, you see, like this. Witchcraft. Or gesture-based. There's a security button here, just press it. Oh! Yeah, you can drop. Especially fishermen like this. So, oh, well, yeah, right? Yeah, they can drop. The other thing is, of course, autopilot. This is the main function. Okay. So, once you keep your, you, you like to keep your uh, the port straight, you simply press auto. So, it's 319, keeps you straight on 319 by using steering wheel. So, not necessarily install all the other things. I love it. Okay, so someone wants to find out more about iHoy, where do they go? How do they find you? iHoy.com is our website, and for, to purchase is it's on Amazon. Fantastic. So you can, anywhere in the world your boat is, you can get this. You can get this. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, cool gear number three we found at Flips 2025 is Barnacle Blue. I'm here with Sean Battistoni. How are hey, you, buddy? I'm really well. How are you? Fantastic. So Thanks, I've heard of Barnacle, and it yep. looked like this. This is different. Explain what this is. This is different, yeah. So that, where we started, and what it started the company, has now elevated to this, what's called the Barnacle Blue, as we've talked about. So in essence, we're a security and monitoring company for boats. We allow you to 
remotely monitor your boat from anywhere in the world via your smartphone. And so this product itself, we had a great, we had a bunch of customer feedback. We want to see live video, we want to see engine diagnostics, and we want to be able to utilize our own onboard internet source in order to uh, push data to the cloud. We said, okay, great. So we went to the drawing board, built this, and it's called the Barnacle Blue. It's a surveillance hub that brings data from all different data sources on a boat that's currently on board the boat, so you don't even have to add other things, right. and allows you to see that in your palm of your hand. So things like IP video streams from video cameras from some of the major brands like Raymarine, FLIR, there's a little access camera from, a uh, pinhole camera from Access, and Garmin. So now you can take those cameras that are, were normally on, on the boat for navigational purposes and use them for security or just checking on your boat live. Well, that's the thing, right? Because you, so much of the time, most of us don't live on our boat. Correct. So we're away from it more than we're on it. Correct. It's a significant investment, even if it's, you know, yep. not the fanciest hundred footer. Yep. And you, you want to know. So that gives you that peace of mind. That's absolutely. very cool. Yeah, absolutely. So, and then on top of just the, the video piece, but, which I'll actually I'll stay with the video piece for a minute because from a security perspective, you can now have you know door and window sensors that when they open and close, videos are, are recorded. Um, temperature and humidity sensors. The, everything gets recorded locally to the hard drive. We also support things like like our old barnacle, like the things like battery voltages and bilge activity and high water and shore power connection. And then we've elevated the other feature set of connecting to the NMEA 2000 network. So you now you're connecting an NMEA 2000 network. This sees everything on the network. Now you've got engine diagnostics. You've got tank levels. You've got all sorts of different, like water temperatures. All those things can now, you can sit there and look. And one of the most fun features, and actually what we won the National Marine Electronics Association's best new product in 2024, 2024 for was called our fish on button. So for our sport fishing friends, like our, our, our partners at Viking Yachts, what you can do now is when you're on board and you catch a fish, you hit our fish on button, it starts recording all your cameras, it drops a GPS point, tracks that entire fishing event, saves it locally, and then when you're done, another, another pin gets dropped so you can see the entire, um, the entire track. And now uh, for tournament fishermen, they can actually download that clip and actually use it as proof of catch. So That's they know cool. where they were, that the fish was caught. This is actually a, this is actually myself and Brandon, our CEO, the, 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 the show Wicked Tuna, yeah. that I think we all know. This is Captain Bob on the Fat Tuna. Brandon and I were out fishing with him uh, last year and ended up landing a 100 inch bluefin tuna. It was all captured by the fish on button and the barnacle blue. And then the Captain Bob, he downloaded it immediately to his phone and shared it to social media to all of his followers. It was like, it, was, it couldn't have worked out any better. <laughs> it was incredible. That's fantastic. Yeah. And so this is new, how new is this? This has actually been in market for a couple of years now. So we're like 20, we won best new product in 2024, it launched early 2024, late 2023. Okay, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, thank you. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Man, Appreciate like where do you go from here? <laughs> Well, we do have a military product that's called the Barnacle Black. That's Ooh. a militarized version of that. So we're having a really great time in like the US DOD and all our, as, as we're Canadian, as, as you know, um, we're supporting our, our federal government with the RCMP and, and, and different partner of fisheries and our Coast Guards. It's really, things are fun. Like things it. are really fun. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah. Cool. Well, I got to come. I'm going to fish. Just I'm going to hit the fish. I can't catch the fish, but I can hit a button like yeah. anybody's business. Do it, man. And get an alert. Yeah, just turn some cameras on. Do it all. Sweet. Yeah. Have a good show. Thanks, man. And uh, this right here is the Sub Blue Vapor. It's about $3,000, but it is It's kind of like a watered down sea bob. Fast, a lot of fun, snorkeling, underwater, overpowered for your kids, though. This is adults only kind of fun. Woo is this, the Sub Blue Mix Pro. You hang on to it here, you got these little thrusters, family friendly, kids can use this, so playing in a pool, snorkeling, it'll drag you around, and apparently it floats. So, extra fun under the water, still counts. That's on our list. So in 2008, Seakeeper released the first gyro stabilizer for, you know, personal boats. You'll see them on big cruise ships and stuff. And people have asked me, like, yeah, does it really work? Well, they've got one here, and me and Mario are gonna see <laughs> if we can, Make, oh, someone just turned off gravity. That's the power we have. And so how it works is there's, you know, witchcraft happening in that little thing in the middle there. More accurately, there's a bunch of stuff spinning around really quick and it'll react to the waves, but 
Unbelievable. And the range of boats that this can be on now, it's not just the big guys anymore, right? No. It's how, how no. small can we get this on? Uh, the smallest boat that we've done is a 21 Scout, correct? Yeah. Yep. 21. So as long as there's the space and it meets the safety parameters. And how fast is it warring around in there? 9,450 RPM. GM Chrysler. 9,450 RPM spinning around. In concept, your physics teacher would explain this is a very basic concept, but it's complicated to make it work <laughs> and plug it into your boat, but that's all it is, and it'll stop that sway and roll. So if you got seasickness or you just don't want to spill your beverages, anything in between, these are the OGs of gyro stabilizing. There's a bunch of people in the market. That's why Seakeepers are on a top five at Flips.